Okay, of course I'm good. Uh, anyway, I am thrilled to introduce Carrie Clevenger from Life Senior Services. I have volunteered in small ways for them for years. And uh, Lynn and I went to, she had a uh, Give Five program where they take you around one day a week for five weeks. They wear you out, they don't know we're retired people. You see so many organizations in Tulsa that you could be a part of to help out. And um, so anyway, I knew about this stocking stuffer deal for Life Senior Services. So she's gonna tell us a lot about Life Senior Services. I know we've had them before, but they have some real new exciting things going on. And then she's going to push the stocking thing for anyone in here who already doesn't have a stocking. And Carrie, um, Carrie grew up in, uh, in Houston, right? And most of her career was in the arts, and she did some stuff in Tulsa with the arts, with Tulsa Ballet and stuff. And then she said she just decided to do something that had more of an impact on people who need it. She changed her career. She came to Life Senior Services in 21, and she's been there ever since. And there's a new senior center being built, which she's gonna tell you about, and she was just promoted to director of it and all the other services that they're combining for Life Senior Services, and a lot of them are for people like you and me, now, not even later. So anyway, Carrie Clevenger, come on. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Again, I'm Carrie. Um, thank you so much for giving me some time to speak to you today. And uh, like Mary said, Lynn and Mary are both graduates of the Give Five program. They had to suffer through five weeks of me. I'm a little bit dramatic and extra, but that's what life is all about, right? Um, so Life Senior Services is 50 years old this year. Uh, it started in 1973. Uh, the senior line is a phone number. It's 918-664-9000. Um, and you can call that number for any, I think that's the number. I might have gotten it wrong. <laughs> but uh, you can, <laughs> oops. Uh, you can call that phone number um, when you start to your journey on services for yourself, someone you love. Um, one of my favorite, favorite stories is someone called the senior line and asked, how do you use Google? And someone explained how, how Google is used. So it really is a one stop for all things. Uh, you start there, ask your questions, and then um, case managers will help you figure out what services you might be in, in need of for you or someone you love. Uh, Life Senior Services has about 200 employees. It's a huge organization. Uh, we are funded in part by United Way, so we're very grateful for that. Um, we have everything from adult day health to vintage housing, which is uh, vintage housing for seniors at, at or below a certain income level. We have 19 properties um, in vintage housing. Uh, we have the Life Pace program, which is an all-inclusive health care program for seniors needing in, to be insured. Um, everything from your, your PC to your medications goes through that program. And we're very lucky to have that program at Life Senior Services. Um, as Mary mentioned, I um, have, up until recently, was the uh, volunteer program manager. And the volunteer program is a robust wellness program, in my opinion. Um, what we do is we recruit volunteers for over 90 nonprofits in the area. Uh, we work with everything from the Tulsa SPCA to various hospice houses um, and all the hospital systems. And the, the idea is to keep individuals in our community active and part of the community. So when someone comes to me and says, hey, I need to do something, uh, well, what do you like? What did you do? What do you not want to do? So some, uh, for instance, some school teachers would say, hey, I was, I was a, a teacher for 35 years and I want nothing to do with, with it anymore. Give me taxes and animals. Got it. Um, and part of that program is the Give Five program, which is actually a national program and we are, it's a licensed program and we are lucky to have it here in Tulsa. It is a five week program where we meet once a day for five weeks, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Yeah, one day a week, sorry. Every day for five weeks, no, <laughs> once a week. Um, and in that time, uh, the cohort is introduced to various needs in the community, everything from food insecurity to education indicators. And then we get on this big green bus now. It's, it's got a facelift. It was white when you guys wrote it, but she's gotten wrapped since. 
uh, we get on a big green bus and we tour up to 25 nonprofits in that five weeks. And you will be worn out. <laughs> you will have a good time though, I promise. And you will learn a lot about your community. Uh, one thing I think is very important that you'll learn is how giving Tulsa is. It, it's incredible. It, this is a very unique city in how much uh, philanthropy lives here and how much the community is willing to give. Um, and, and as of recently, I, I am the new uh, Senior Center Director. So Roma Berry is our brand new facility that's not quite open yet, but if you take a little drive down um, and go down 51st between Sheridan and Memorial, turn left onto 72nd East Avenue, you'll run into what was once the Dove Academy. Does anybody remember that? We purchased that building and added on to it, and uh, it will be the Roma Berry Center opening TBD. But uh, hopefully by, I'm not sure, so I don't want to say, but we'll be open soon. Um, there's going to be a 10 foot, 10,000 10, 10, square feet pickleball court. Uh, we will have adult day health facilities there. The senior center will have classes, exercise classes, exercise equipment, and all kinds of programming from, uh, we will have a kitchen there, so I'm hoping to have a demonstration kitchen situation, maybe some cooking classes. Um, but it's going to be a place where you can you can come and be an active senior, or if you have you're a caretaker, you can uh, bring your your person to the adult day health and then go enjoy some of the services with the active senior center. So it's a it's a huge facility. Go take a look at it. It's really going to be nice. And and one of my favorite things is the outdoor walking trails. So uh, that will be around the senior center. So that's kind of a snapshot of like if I'm leaving anything out. Um, that's important. I think a lot of folks in Tulsa know about Life Senior Services now. We've been around for a while, and, and if you don't know about Life, you will soon start seeing all of the green vehicles that say Life Senior <laughs> Services on the side. Um, the stocking drive that I am, am going to pitch to you guys is part, it's one leg of the Holiday Project. The Holiday Project is intended to bring some joy to some seniors who may not have any family or someone kind of caring for them. Um, one part of it is what we, like kind of like an angel tree uh, wish list sponsorship. And uh, the stocking drive is, is a collection of stuffed stockings. I always say it's like a food drive, but with stockings. Um, we had a big one on Tuesday, uh, Giving Tuesday, where we collected. We haven't counted them all yet, but we're getting up to 800, and I know we'll get over probably 1,000 from that count. But uh, the stocking drive allows us to give a stocking or a gift to every single participant in all of our programs, and that is huge, and it is just one way for seniors in our community to know that you are valued, you are important, you are seen, and you are not alone during this time of the year because... I believe that the holidays kind of, the loneliness and isolation tends to double down on us this time of the year. So when someone, you receive a little something from someone, uh, you may not know who they are, and you as a giver might not know who your stocking went to, it certainly brightens their day. Um, the case managers reported that it was a huge success last year when we launched the uh, stocking drive. So um, what goes in the stockings? Well, essential items. Um, everything from pill cutters, big popular, pill cutters are popular, to denture cleaners, eyeglass cleaners, those kinds of things. And then non-essential items such as puzzle books, a lot of stuffed animals. Uh, folks love stuffed animals, they request them quite often. Um, just fidget, fidget toys, um, anything that's fun. Back scratchers were a huge hit, by the way. <laughs> back scratchers, everyone was like, can I get a stocky with a back scratcher in it? And this year I saw grabbers. And I thought, well, heck, that's a great idea. I didn't think about that last year. Gra grabbers, so when you're you know, trying to reach for something. Um, just the point is to have fun. And as you're filling the stocking, just know um, how it's going to be received. It's going to be received with gratitude and love. And that, that energy is so important right now as we live in a very volatile time. And giving is as much for the giver as it is the receiver. Um, I am fortunate, I am very privileged to be able to see every day how people are inspired. That's kind of the, the role I sit in and I get to help and watch people become inspired and, and uh, it's a privilege and I'm so honored to do what I do. I love it. I think I have at 40 something years old found my life calling after all these years. So um, does anybody have any questions? I know I talk kind of fast. I don't, I mean, I'm used to, yes. Are there other senior centers, you mentioned the new one coming, are there others located around the city? Or 
So currently we have two active senior centers. Um, one at Southminster Presbyterian and one at Eastside Church on 15th and Harvard. We are going to be exiting those and combining at the, the larger senior center at Roma Berry. Um, our adult day health facility at what we call Central, which is on 31st Street, will also move over there. But we have adult day health in Broken Arrow and that will stay there, of course, to, to provide service to that community. So those will stay open. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Um, if you want to go online and look at what classes are available now, and, and that will change when we combine because we plan to add more classes. Um, there's going to be some polling like, what are you interested in? What do you want to see? What would you want to do? And then we're going to try to accommodate uh, some new programming when, when we open for sure. What are some of the classes that you offer? Well, currently there's a line dancing class <laughs> that's really popular. Um, and I'm going to pull specifically like, what other kind of dancing do we want to learn? Um, there are um, there are a few like kind of in and out, like there's a movement class with Tulsa Theater. They have their friend Julie Tattershaw teaches that. And that's the, the, the musical that they're going to be producing. Um, other classes involved, there's some technology classes that we've had in the, fu uh, in the past, see, <laughs> in the future, in the past, uh, how, to, how to work and learn technology, um, just certain classes like that. And again, we'll be adding to it and maybe taking away some stuff that's not as popular. So I would encourage you to go online and look at the programming now and kind of get an idea and then we're, we will change it because I think once we start polling individuals and seeing what you're interested in, we'll be able to get a better idea of what, how we're going to move in the future. When are you going to do the next Give Five program? Excellent question. Um, so since I am changing my, my role with Life Senior Services, I won't be the volunteer program manager. I will be the, the senior center director, but I am taking Give Five with me. <laughs> so right. I will still be leading Give Five for a while. Uh, the next class, thank you for this question. The next class starts on January 23rd. And if you have any questions, you have to great representatives here to ask. Uh, we accept up to 20 because we like to keep it small and intimate because we get to know each other. Um, and, and you can enroll by going online to the this, uh, volunteer page and you'll see Give Five and you, all you do is sign up and then you'll, it will come directly to me and then I'll contact you to confirm your enrollment. Mm -hmm. um, all you have to do is show up with an open mind. Literally, don't, you don't have to bring any tools. Just show up, we're gonna give you a big notebook, we're gonna feed you, we're gonna have fun. And we'll teach, yeah, we'll teach each other. So that's a good question. January 23rd, okay. you can contact me. I will make sure that, that you, well, you guys have my contact information mm -hmm. so you can give it away. It's, I'm pretty easy to find. I recommend that program. I learned so much about the uh, generosity here mm -hmm. in, in Tulsa, and I was just amazed at some of the facilities we visited. Yeah. And uh, you're busy. It's, it's, a, it's a great program. It is a great yeah. program, yes. So everybody should participate. Yes, you yes. <laughs> so I'm assuming that you deal with a lot of people who are caregivers mm -hmm. or have family members who might have dementia, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. or serious illnesses, do you have any kind of support groups? Absolutely. We have caregiver support groups. Um, and any of the stuff that you're, you're more interested in, I can create um, a kind of a bullet point to send to Mary so she can send it out if you don't mind me <laughs> volunteering you for that. Uh, we do have caregiver support because it is very important. Um, I'm not sure what the schedule is right now, but uh, those have been very successful. Uh, the return on that has been, the information back has been, this, is, this has been a lifesaver. So yes, we do. Uh, probably have to take the mic away from me. Um, so also, um, it's a really, Life Senior Services is a really great place to volunteer. I volunteer there a couple of times a year and they treat you really, really well. They keep Halloween candy there all the time <laughs> and coffee and stuff. Um, also, I would like, I'll just put in a Tai Chi class. Oh, yes. They used to have those, and we, we will definitely bring that back, yeah. Right. Tai Chi, I know there's some yoga classes, so thank you for reminding me. There's some yoga and movement classes, but yes, Tai Chi will come back. 
And, and hip hop. How not, how, why not learn hip hop? That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, whoa, that threw me off. So um, anyway, so I actually know someone who um, is, her spouse is dealing with dementia and I may cry. Life Senior Services has been, she says, just a, a saver. Um, he can go to the day, day center and also the support group. And I, I know I've been in support groups. And there are things that you can say in a support group that you would not say to anyone else who isn't dealing with it. And she said it's just been a lifesaver. So nice. I think that's incredible. Absolutely. Okay. All righty. Oh, and really good lunches at the... Give five program. Really good lunches. I don't really make good them. lunches. That's important. <laughs> Do you have like a network or contacts outside of Tulsa and other cities that have a program like this? Like Life Senior Services? Yes. We are very unique. Uh, there's not another organization in the nation like us. And we hope to, there's some that are sort of kind of like this, but not as big. Not, as, uh, not able to offer as many services. And the reason why is because we have such a generous com community that jump in and say, hey, I want to help, I want to do this, I want to do that. But we hope to be, in, in, to be an example of, uh, for other cities. I know that um, live scene, we do have two uh, satellite offices for volunteerism in Wagner County and Creek County, and those are two very active volunteer offices. So, um, but yeah, we are very unique. And I know that our... our our fearless leader, Eileen Bradshaw, meets with a lot of different people, um, kind of telling them what we do and how we do it. So hopefully we'll see other cities kind of follow suit. And I will say that, um, you know, like Mary mentioned, in 2020 when the world caught fire, I thought, wow, I, I want to do something more. I don't know what to do. And I was lucky enough to, to land here at Life Senior Services. And I will tell you, the Gift 5 program, getting to witness other, other stories, hearing other stories, it is as nourishing for me as it is anybody. I mean, I go through the, I've gone through the Gift 5 program. Uh, this will be my sixth time. And every time I learn something, and I, every time, I promise you, I am inspired by the participants. I mean, it is a privilege to sit there and watch people go, oh, wow. And not only in this program do you get to see the, how needs are met, you also get this whole, you're, you're a resource book after that. Even, even if you don't need those services or you're not going to volunteer there, you might hear somebody say, hey, I need this and that, and you, you're going to know where to direct them. It's, it's, it's valuable. It's invaluable. So. Yes, did you have a question? Oh, sorry. Well, um, if, if you're um, going to donate a stocking filled with essential, non-essential items, I thank you. If you're not able to do that now, I thank you for listening. Um, if you're interested in getting involved, um, there's no age limit to, to volunteer for life programs. The uh, Volunteer for Life is 55 plus because it's a wellness program. But we have lots of ways to volunteer with the Holiday Project, with our gala, which is a lot of fun, and our Senior Expo. So please uh, get in touch with me, and we'll work together on something. Thank you so much for your time. I sincerely, this is beautiful, by the way. Um, as I drove up, I started getting teary-eyed. And as you guys know, as Mary and Lynn knows, it doesn't take much to make me cry. <laughs> so, but this is absolutely beautiful. I love this place. So thank you. Thank you.